This is my EDC car kit. So I wanted to do a video on my EDC vehicle kit. Car kit, if you'd like. But I call it a vehicle kit because this has been on the boat. Uh, I have a first aid kit. I have a knife. You know, a lot of people just go recreational boating and they don't have a knife. They don't have... They have the the requirements that by law they are, they need to be carrying if they if they're on a motorboat or on a sailboat but uh, this goes beyond that this uh, you know if I had to spend the night um, on the shore I know with this bag I could survive if I had to spend a night on the side of a road in a snowstorm this bag would get me through the night. Okay. It's based on, all of my kits are based on Dave Canterbury's 10 C's of survival. And there are 10 items in here that are a must have. Some of them are a little extras. And I just wanted to show you what my version of my vehicle EDC kit is. And here we go. So, the five primary C's of um, survival is a cutting tool, combustion, cover, a container, and cordage. We'll go in that order. I only have the one knife in this bag, uh, my cutting tool. It's a Gerber, it's full tang, uh, it comes with this really nice belt buckle uh, sheath here. It holds it in there pretty good. You can't reverse the knife, it won't go in, it has to go in this way. The, the rivets so that I can change the orientation. I've got it set up so that if I can put it into my belt, hold it on the side of my, and it's readily available. Again, it's full tang. I could hit this with, um, you know, a, a big stick, a mallet, whatever it is. And it's a good sharp knife. I've obviously, I've done a few sharpenings to it already. Looks like it needs a little bit. I do use my knives. Um, I don't like just throwing it into a bag and never use it again. I want to test these items out. You can see I've got a couple of scars on it already. No things on it. It keeps a good sharp edge. So I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, I got it at Sale, S-A-I-L, here in Canada. And it was a pretty good buy. Uh, 29 bucks, 35 bucks. Um, and it's well worth it. Very compact for that bag. And it's the first item on the Dave Canterbury's 10 C's of survival, the five are the primaries. So the first one you need is a cutting tool. The next item on the primary, the five C's of survival, is a combustion, a means of combustion. And of course, the Bic lighter comes in right away. I have multiple, everyone does. It's, it's a way of making sure that, you know, this may not be very good in wet weather and, you know, if it's windy. I have a combustion striker, steel striker. I have another lighter. This is a butane, and it's a very hot heat. And the nice thing about this one is, is it's refillable. So I've got it on a little bit of a lanyard here, uh, and it's, it's basically orange again so that if I drop this, I can find it. If I drop this in the forest, it's going to be really hard to, to find. Of course, I've got the availability with my knife to make the sparks that I need to because I have a cutting tool with a combustion tool. So a big lighter, uh, fire steel, another lighter, refillable and easy to find. And then my last one, you'll see I've got a pack of matches and they're, they're compressed because I've taken the air out of this. These little items are uh, fire starter cubes. Uh, they're soaked in some sort of solution. I don't know what it is. And you, you basically, you, you've, these are easy to, you put a match to it, you put a spark to it, put a little flame off this guy and it's going to start really, really easily. Um, it's just extra protection. I mean, I know how to make a fire in wet conditions without this stuff. Some matches in here and the striker is on the outside. I don't think I'm gonna have a hard time building a fire with any one of these items. Cover is 
number three on the list, and it's for good reason. This is a very large poncho. The nice, the reason I bought this one is because it is square. It has a hole in the middle. I, I don't want to un, uh, unpack it. It won't fit on the camera, and you don't want to see me with this thing on. It'll look like a goof. But, having said that, I would be the driest goof in the whole area. And with that, I also have the ability to create a shelter with this. So cover is not only just me walking around in the rain or in the elements, I also have the ability, it's a square um, piece of canvas. And at the corners and in the middle, there are grommets that I can attach the I can attach to and I can create a makeshift uh, shelter for myself. All I need is a little bit of cordage, that's coming up next, and something to tie to, even if it's a heavy shoe or a boot or you know something that's not critical to me. I could throw a bag out there, fill it with snow, and tie it to it, and that would probably keep this thing from blowing away. I'm now able to cut some firewood, I'm able to create a, a fire on shore to warm myself up and I would then start my shelter. And this, so the next item on our list is this container. We need a way to store and or uh, boil water if we were in need of it. And I can basically, you know, hot coals, put it right in there, boil up some water, take two sticks, you know, lean it down and pour it into a container or I can drop some, you know, some food in here or, or create, you know, um, you know, as a container with its lid, you now have the method of, you know, you can carry it around. Container, it's on the top five. Cordage is number five. And it comes, for me, it means this type of cordage. This this works for me. Uh, easy to cut, very strong, ten style. It has the seven, this is paracord if you don't know. Uh, I have several, a lot of versions of this. This happens to be the one that I chose, the color in my bag. Um, it's very easy, you, when you do cut it, you use your, your, your lighter, and you just burn the wick, or burn the end off of it, give it a second to cool down, give it a pinch, and it's really nice and taut there. Um, you know, cordage comes in a lot of different methods. I, I had mentioned with this lighter, I use it so that if I dropped it, the orange would at least, you know, promote it inside of a wilderness environment. If it's in snow, I should be able to see this orange a lot better than, you know, this thing dropping itself in and burying itself. Um, I, I cut little pieces off of this, and I also keep a, a smaller um, bundle in a different pocket so that I don't have to unwind this uh, 100 meters, or 100 feet? 100 meters. 100 feet. And, no, it's 100 meters. I don't know. It's, it's a long piece of cord. Paracord. It's what it is. I've got a, a smaller piece right here. This one I just took off of something else. Uh, I've already tied it. It hasn't been melted yet. This is, you'll see the seven strands here. You could take these out, tie them together, and actually use them as fishing line. You've, you've heard this before. I'm not telling you anything new. But you can see where cordage is really important for a lot of items where, you, you know, you can fix the belts, shoelaces. Uh, you know, there's, there's whole videos on how much this stuff can do for you in an, in an environment. And that's why it's on his, Dave Canterbury's put it on his top five primaries to have in your pack. And of course, you, you need a knife, which was number one on the list for a lot of reasons. Fire starter, building some kindling, you know, get the, the kindling started, and of course, to cut this into shorter pieces if you needed to. I try not to. I try to keep it as long as I possibly can. Avoid cutting it and only using what I need. Let the other stuff dangle. However, if I did need it, it was in a need situation, I would definitely cut it. Uh, I, 
go buy some more some other time. But Cordage, number five. Here's a quick summary for my EDC vehicle kit. Number one is my cutting tool, or better known as a sharp knife. The second on the list is combustion tool. There are many ways of making fire. And the third on the list is a cover, a tarp or a poncho, to keep me dry or to build the shelter. Number four on the list is a container, preferably stainless steel, great for boiling water. And the last of the five C's of survival, number five, is cordage. I use paracord. It can help with shelter, first aid. There's hundreds of uses. That's the first five C's in my EDC vehicle kit. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did creating it. I'll be sure to put some links down below. And check out my next video where I'll explain the next five items on the list of the 10 C's of survival.